the time, three women facing a judge on charges connected to a prostitution sting led to a shutdown and changes at Providence's Foxy Lady Adult Entertainment Nightclub. I want to reporter Kate Walsh joining us live at court this morning with the very latest. Well, Patrick, all three women who were arrested at the Foxy Lady on charges of soliciting prostitution were right behind me at Providence District Court, all arraigned this morning in the same courtroom and released. All of this was going on as the Foxy Lady is now back open, but without the VIP rooms. It's been nearly a month since these three women were arrested at the Foxy Lady, accused by undercover Providence police officers of soliciting prostitution in the VIP room. Wednesday morning, they were each arraigned on that charge. All three entered not guilty pleas, with bail set for all three at $2,000 personal recognizance. 32-year-old Melissa McNeely of Madison, Connecticut, and 30-year-old Lindsay Hoffman of Waterbury, Connecticut, were granted permission to travel back to their state while out on bail. Yes, sir. Thank you. In court, 25 year old Niche Rivera listed her address as being in Providence. Rivera and McNeely, represented by the same lawyer, saw their cases move to Superior Court. Hoffman's attorney requested her stay in district court, and the judge granted that request. Because of their arrests on the night of December 11th, the Providence Board of Licenses voted to revoke all licenses, deeming the Foxy Lady a safety concern. That meant the club had to close. But last Thursday, the state Supreme Court ordered a stay in the revocation of the Foxy Lady's entertainment. License, meaning it could reopen as a strip club and serve alcohol, but without the VIP room for now. The permanent future of the Foxy Lady will be determined in the future through mediation between the city and the club. And on Friday, when the club reopened, I asked the Foxy Lady operations manager, Richard Angel, if he would consider rehiring these three women. He said he, he would if they were found not guilty in court. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.